For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Uh, my name is Kara Schneeberger, and I teach K-6 through music in Kansas City, Missouri, in the KCPS district. One a story in particular about something that stood out to me. Uh, last year was my first year teaching in KCPS, my first year ever. One after one particularly hard day with my fifth graders, uh, one of um, the things I brought from home had been broken, there had been a fight, and it was just very stressful. And later on in that day, I uh, was headed to lunch and my um, principal pulled me aside into his office and I thought, oh no, <laughs> this is it, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but um, he pulled me aside and um, sat me down, closed the door, and he's just like, I don't get it. How do you stay so calm? Like, that was really stressful. Like, how are you not like leaving the building right now? You know, and I answered honestly, I said, well, Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know, because there's no way I can survive a first year teaching in the inner city, much less um, just living sometimes uh, besides Jesus Christ and, and having him in my life. And if anything, God's really greatly um, helped my dependence on him and knowing that he's the light, really, it's not me. Like God is the light that I'm dependent on. So for me, being a light means um, making people happy and willing to help out wherever you can. When everything started, I decided to bake cookies. And a lot of the cookies went to waste because my family, they can only eat so many cookies. Um, so I decided to start delivering to my neighbors because they were pretty close and like I could drive within a couple minutes to get to them. So then we decided to um, deliver to church members. And so, um, me and my mom, we drove around and we delivered cookies to all the people that we like, thought knew us and they seemed to appreciate that. So then we tried to reach out to people that we didn't know as much. And so um, we delivered cookies to them and they really seemed to appreciate it. Um, once we were able to get back in the church and stuff, people were coming up to us and saying how much they appreciated the cookies and stuff. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't think that I made a huge impact. but. People keep talking about it, so I guess it made some kind of impact. Hi, I'm David Shanks. Uh, I've been going to this church for about four years now. And uh, the way that I like to show God's light through me uh, in the day-to-day -day life is having a joyful heart. I had a coworker who was missing a couple hours uh, in the morning. And I was asking him, hey, where have you been? And he was like, oh, I just been to a doctor's appointment. just getting a regular checkup. But this kept on happening. Uh, over the course of a couple weeks. And about the fourth or fifth time, I'm like, hey man, is there something like serious going on? And he finally opened up to me and uh, I'm like, hey, this is, this is a big deal. I'll be praying for you. And uh, I thought I was doing the Christian duty, my Christian duty, I'll be praying for you. Uh, but my other coworker sat down with him and I'm like, hey, I wanna pray with you right now. Uh, took some time out of his work, out in the middle of the open, uh, not ashamed, not scared at all in it prayed with him, laid hands on him, and that really convicted me like, hey, we need to be taking the extra steps this year to be a light to the world. Because um, everybody's going through something this year, and I feel like that was just really encouraging to me and um, to others. I'm Austin Brownlee, and I've been going to Fellowship Church for uh, roughly seven years now. How I choose to be a light in the workplace is by simply being different, uh, by choosing to do the right thing when no one else wants to. In Matthew 5:14, it says, You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket but the lampstone and give it light to all of those who are in the world. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So it is important to be a light in the workplace because if you're not the light, then who will be? And how will they hear about Christ if it's not you doing it?
Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age.